Hello everyone and welcome to The Makeup Room. I'm Holmes, Casey Holmes, and today I'm gonna show you a look inspired by Leah Sadu as Madeline Swan in the newest James Bond film, Spectre. The Bond Girl Inspector is Dr. Madeline Swan, an Austrian psychologist who proves that nothing is sexier than a strong, intelligent woman. She's played by French actress Leah Sadu, and her hair and makeup in the film is straight out of the 1920s, right down to the bold red lip and distinctive black liner. She's a classic femme fatale, and she's the inspiration for today's look in the makeup room. Is this really what you want? Hunting, being hunted. Always alone. So what I love most about Leah's look is that it is really simple and classic and pretty much easy to do. You just have a nice black liner with a bold lip. So let's just go ahead and get started. So we're gonna go ahead and just start off by applying our base. And we're just going to even out our skin tone. She has a gorgeous, flawless face in this trailer. So we're going to try and mimic that with our foundation. And then after that, we're just gonna apply some concealer to cover up our dark circles. And you also wanna drag this concealer on your lid as well, just to even it out. Okay, so now we're gonna just go ahead and set it in place, with this Lorac Pro Contour Palette, which is one of my favorites. And since we did put some concealer on the lid, I'm gonna take a little bit of that yellow powder and just put it on the lids as well. So the brows are really simple in this one. Her brows are just lightly filled in and mine are a little bit longer than hers so you just wanna fill them in however you do your brows. They don't have to be super specific. Okay, so after that, we're gonna go back into this Laura palette and take the beige highlight and we're gonna use this as an eyeshadow and just put it all over the lid. This isn't gonna add any color or anything. It's just gonna make it nice and matte and a little more even. Now for the liner, she doesn't have a winged liner or anything like that, but it is bold. So we're just gonna do a line on our top lash line and I'm using a matte liner. This one's from Makeup Forever. It's the ink eyeliner and it's amazing. So all you're gonna do is just follow your upper lash line. And when I get towards the end, I do just a little bit of a flick out to kind of give the illusion of my eyes going up just a little bit. And then another thing I like to do is line my upper waterline. It's gonna make your lashes look a lot more thick and really help that liner stand out and look very dark. So I'm gonna just take this one from NARS in Via Veneto and we're gonna apply that right in there. Then next we're gonna apply some false lashes, nothing too dramatic, but something just to make them look a little bit more full. So I'm gonna use some mascara real quick just to coat the lashes first. And then for lashes today, we're just gonna use some from Velour. And these are called Mama Got Lash, and I really like that name. So I'm going to first measure them out and see how much I need to cut off. These are not dramatic or anything. They're just a little bit wispy, just to make them look a little more full. After that, you just want to apply some lash glue. I'm going to be using a dark tone today. So you just want to apply this on your lashes and let them sit for about 30 seconds. Okay, so after we've applied them, I'm just gonna go back over the liner with the same Makeup Forever one we used earlier, just to kind of camouflage the band. And then to just brighten up the eyes a little bit more, we're gonna take this nude liner from Rimmel, and this will just really brighten everything up and make your eyes look bigger. We're gonna apply that on the waterline. And then the fun part, moving on to lips. So I'm gonna take this Urban Decay 24-7 Lip Liner in Bad Blood. It's a little bit brighter than what we're going for, but it's okay, because we'll put the other color on top. It's just gonna help be our guideline. Then I'm gonna use one of my favorite colors ever. This is Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick in Melted Velvet. Another trick you can do is take some concealer, I'm taking this little NYX palette, and I'm gonna take a flat brush like this, and we're just gonna carve out the lips to make it look more clean. 
and put together. And then really quick, while that kind of does its thing and dries a little bit, I'm gonna take a little bit of bronzer. This one is the Hourglass Radiant Bronzer. And I'm gonna put this on my cheeks and forehead just to add some color back into the face. So I'm really quickly gonna apply a little bit of Vampira on top just to kind of matte this out because she does have a matte lip. So the last tip I wanna give before we go is this right here. What you wanna do to avoid that is take your finger and put it in your mouth and get some excess product. This will help get the lipstick off the inner part of your lips so you don't get it on your teeth. It's a really big help, I promise. <laughs> okay, I've got my 1920s hair all set and that completes today's look inspired by the beautiful Leah Sadu as Madeline Swan Inspector, which opens in Regal Cinemas November 6th. And you can get your tickets early by clicking the link below and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more episodes of The Makeup Room.